All right, we're back for the final round. Or no, this is round three, sorry. Got one more after this. This is the last round of this eight man, then we're gonna play two man. Uh, <clears throat> this hand is unkeepable, unfortunately. No white source. I might have even mulligan it with a white source. Probably not though. Uh, this hand's a little bit better. Uh, we get a scry as well. Oh, it's always Jace on top. It's always Jace on top. Just remember that. What you know about Jace on top. I really want to lead here with Mountain to kill an opposing Jace and then untap and play my own. But that might make my mana a little awkward. So I don't know if I... I actually, no, because I can just... Cole against Command on 3. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... You know, if we draw a Crackling Doom or whatever, we still Command on 3 and then Doom on 4, so it's not a huge deal. Oh, and he's not what we thought. So I guess he's Abzan. Still okay. Still want an Impulse, I think. Yep, we're going to kill that. Kill everything, that's my motto. Jason Rooney. He needs a either a swamp or a black fetch here to play and a fins on three. Alright, great. Everything's coming up millhouse. Alright, we're not gonna hold up Cole against command, we're just gonna cast this soul fire, so we'll discard planes, fetch up uh blue white. I guess that's better. Yeah, want to fill up our graveyard, and uh, I think access to one white source is generally enough. We got Siege Ronadopolis, or. Gideon? Gideon would not be so bad for us. We could uh, deal with that one pretty easily. Alright, well. Flooding out a little too much for my taste. Good news is, if he attacks, we and plays Gideon or something, we actually if he plays Wingmay Rock, we're just dead. But we want a ton we could do about it. We didn't draw a Crackling Doom. <laughs> this is like a matchup where I love and hate Cole against Command. It's so bad sometimes. Now if he attacks and plays Gideon we can kill it, but if he attacks, or sorry, if he holds back and doesn't play Gideon, or or if he holds back and plays Gideon, makes it 2-2, two -two, in a little bit of trouble. Wingmate rock, nail in the coffin, here it comes. Always wingmate. Yep. Huh. So we can attack with both our soul fires, I guess. Kill one, flashback, impulse, kill another. Play Jace. Or Cole against command. Or Jace, Cole against command, or impulse. Let's see. We just tick up. Play another Jace. Yeah. This matchup was tough. This is why I lost two at the open. Um yeah, I don't really want to like double block Rhino or anything, so if he attacks us with everything, a lot of damage. Flooding out here pretty hard. Really needed to draw a, uh, uh, what's it called?
crackling doom, sorry. Alright, so I can... No, that's a waste of mana. I could double block, deal two to it, and make him discard. I don't know. Another wing may rock? Is that it? Tassiger? Jeez. Uh, what if he goes like Tassiger Rhino? That's some curve. Okay, well. Let's make him discard. <clears throat> we'll gain some life, I suppose. Really need to draw Crackling Doom. I don't even know what I would do if I drew Crackling Doom. I guess I'd have to like shrink Rhino, Crackling Doom, his Tassiger. I'd go to 8, attack, go up to 12, he can attack me back for a reasonable amount. I don't know. Probably got double Dramoka's command. Birdman. Oh, come on, buddy. <clears throat> Draw this game was not great. Uh, if we had drawn an Ojitai's Command or Crackling Doom instead of some of these lands or the Colgan's Command, we'd be in a lot better shape. Drew too many creatures. That happens every now and then, but not a lot with this deck. Okay, so he prevented, but he fought, so he gained some life, so that's nice. And he discards his last card, which is just a do-nothing. So we can tick down, Colgan's Command plus Fire Impulse, Tassiger, gain 5 up to 11, attack up to 13. Uh, but that requires Flipping both Jaces and... Hmm. Alright, we're going to attack and hope he blocks with Tassiker. Then we'll go... Maybe we should take down on Fire Impulse first. Yeah, that was probably bad. Oh, that doesn't even work because Impulse only does two. That's a tilt. Alright, so we'll target Colgan's command, flip this Jace, Drew Crackling Doom, keep new Jace. Um so I guess we'll just do two to him, get back, soul fire, play soul fire, tick up. Is that enough to not die? I think we have to like chump block if we do that. Hmm. Alright, we'll tick up on a wingy. So if he attacks with everybody, just chump Tassiger, go to 12, take 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Next turn, if we draw a white source, we can go Doom Doom, gain some attack, gain some more. Yeah, Colgan's Command's real bad in this matchup. Just. Oh no, we can't even double Doom because of. We don't have... We have the island. <laughs> Alright. So he's at a bunch. We got a four. Not very much life at all. And a morph. <laughs> That's a tilt. 
All right, we're done. Okay. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Radiant Flames in this matchup. I like Painful Truths because they usually have a lot of discard after sideboard. Um, they usually keep all their Dromcoms, so Mastery is pretty bad. We don't really want Dispel, I don't think. So let's bring in some Truths and some Stainful Strokes. The Gates are pretty lackluster here. Like, they help us kill Gideon, but they don't counter any of his big stuff. And he has Tassigur too, so he has plenty of big stuff. And we'll cut the Colgan's commands uh, in favor of Impulse, just because we desperately need to be able to kill Wardens on turn one. Yeah, that was a tough game. His draw was pretty good. It wasn't great. I mean, the curve of Warden of the First Tree into Anafenza, or into Pump and Anafenza into like Rhino into Wingmate Rock, that that curve is real hard to beat, no matter who you are. And uh, yeah, I mean, and you know, you can replace any of those turns with Gideon or a Morph or whatever, and it's still a, a good draw. The deck's just very good. I've been heavily considering playing it for some time now. I just can't bring myself to do it. I don't know why. I'm a rebel. Everyone else is doing great with it, therefore I can't play it. Plus I really just like Jeskai Black, like a lot. It just feels good. So I always tell people when they ask me, do you think Jeskai Black is good? I was like, well it feels good. Cast and Dig Through Time feels great. Casting Oshai's Command to counter a guy and draw a card or get back a creature is also great. You know, sometimes you don't win. Sometimes your opponent curves and just stomps your head in. Uh, the deck could also just go up to like four roast or something. Um, just more removal that can kill big guys. I've had Valor Stance in there before. I've even had Planar Outburst in there before like I had at the open. Uh, we'll be on the play. <coughs> Uh, this hand is great. Hand is straight great. Straight great. <clears throat> it's going to be pretty bad for us if he goes Warden into Dromokas Command. Not going to lie, but I think you always want to Jace versus Roast here. Roast killing like Anafenza or something is way more important. Alright, well... You don't have Dromokas Command, hopefully. Doesn't look like it. We're definitely not blocking. If he just levels, we'll likely cast Roast on our turn. And then the turn after that, just go either Stroke or Oversize Command on what he does. Just go Pump. No! Tilt. All right, fetch Anafenza here is not good, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get ourselves back in the game. So, yep. So blue black, I guess, and then we'll fetch white with the flooded strand. And now we play the waiting game. He just wants to bash us for four. We're okay with that. If he doesn't play anything. We're in great shape. He plays a creature, we get to go counter your guy, get back Jace, untap, flip it, roast your guy, hold up Disdainful Stroke. <clears throat> None of the above. So, return Jace, draw a card. We'll try that. It worked. Alright, loot. <clears throat> Alright, our life total is pretty low, so I kind of just want to discard Painful Truth since we're pretty well set up here. Um, just gonna try to roast his guy and then stroke his next play. That's the dream anyway. It worked! <laughs> stroke or fire impulse, and if uh, he doesn't do anything, maybe we just pass his turn again. We'll just cast Dig Through Time. Maybe his hand is just full of wingmate rocks. 
We may rock in the boat over here. Impulse is a little risky to keep there, I think, but there's enough that can go wrong where I'd much rather have a removal spell than draining myself for so much. Yeah, we're definitely just gonna disdainful stroke that guy. Unfortunately, that means a follow-up Gideon would not be good for us. But we do have Dig. Ooh, and we drew another stroke. Alright, so now we can go stroke Dig, or Ojas Command, or whatever. We got a, a lot of plays here. Getting on tap with a Jace on a clear board is great. Could potentially gain 4 life, but I don't think we're at that stage in the game yet. Air of the Wilds. All the Wilds. Uh, we're going to uh, forego gaining some life here to be able to use our mana more efficiently. Uh, we're going to play Soulfire, fetch a blue-white. Uh, take up... And then stroke plus dig or just dig. <laughs> Alright, he's only got one card in hand, so this game is basically over. I will take two removal spells, thank you. You can keep all them lands, boy. Alright, stocked hand, just gonna keep ticking up and attacking, and this should put us out of range of dying pretty well. We're gonna play another Jace just as a backup in case he goes like utter end or something on this one, but this game is pretty much locked up. We have almost all of our bases covered. And he doesn't have anything anyway, so. Alright, tick up. And now we can actually just end of turn, uh, just crackling doom him with the soul fire rebuy. Gain a little more life. He plays a guy, great. If he doesn't play a guy, great. Murderous cut. I could disdainful stroke that, I guess. Alright, so what's the worst case scenario? If we rebuy disdainful stroke, he untaps to play Gideon, then we just crackle and doom kill it. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. I guess worst case scenario maybe is like another cut into untap do something, but we're basically just, we got all of our bases covered here. I do want to keep that stroke around though. <clears throat> Duress into Gideon. Both these cards still be Gideon. These cards be most of the things he could play here. Silk Wrap, that's fine. <clears throat> we can even utter in the Silk Wrap if we want to. Don't really want to at the moment. Our impulse, uh, we can flash back painful truths and then end a turn. Uh, still cast utter in, so he has no cards in hand. We have a Jace on three. We can flip another Jace. We can gain some life with Oshai's command next turn if we want to. All right, well, we'll go ahead and knock off the uh, Silk Wrap to get back our thing so we can keep pressuring him. He'll likely take Crackling Doom, but at this stage, we can just rebuy Grandmaster a bunch, either with the, the Jaces or uh, use his ability and Fire Impulse things. <clears throat> All right, so he has a lot of Duresses now. I'm not sure if that's uh, something we need to take uh, too seriously. He at least has two. They are very good um, on the right turns, but usually if he's casting Duress, he's not using all of his mana each turn, and that's pretty good for me. We could bring in, like, a Felidar Cub or an Erase to unlock uh, something from Silk Wrap. He also could potentially have uh, Mastery of the Unseen or Evolutionary Leap 
Probably mastery though, because he didn't show us hanger back walker, he showed us air of the wilds. Uh, I'm actually okay cutting one painful truce for one erase on the draw. We never want to draw the second painful truce, and we don't really want to draw it uh, any time before like turn six. So, but it is very good if our opponent is playing a lot of discard spells early. Like if if his plan is just go discard, discard, you know, Rhino or Gideon, then yeah, it is what it is. We could have brought back in the negates to help fight the the duresses, but I don't really want to do that. All right, well, <clears throat> this hand has a very high chance of biting us, but I'm gonna keep it. All right, no warden on turn one is awesome. Unfortunately, that was weird. Okay, I guess he's just gonna go fetch basic, fetch basic, fetch duel. I would love if he played a warden on two. That would be great. Okay. Well, we're just going to cast Dragon Master Outcast. Um, I'm going to play Sunken Hollow over Mystic Monastery just in case. It's very unlikely that it matters which one I play now, but uh, the likelihood of either of these lands coming to play untapped and me also not just uh, playing a tap land next turn is pretty small. Alright, so we are just going to go roast that Monastery attack. Maybe he'll play something that dies to Fire Impulse that's not a Gideon 2-2. Doubt it. Alright. Warden? If we draw an untapped land, we can just go Painful Truce into... Oh, wow. Is he playing a Tassiger or a Cut? Jeez. Louie. Alright, well, uh, we'll bust this guy up, play Jace, hopefully try to flash back uh, Rose next turn. It's pretty unlikely though, since we only have two cards in the grave. Uh, if we draw an untapped, if we draw a fetch land, we can go, oh no, not Wingmate Rock. Oh no, why is it always Wingmate Rock? Jeez. All right, so we can go Painful Truce into Rose into Flip Jace. So I think we have to do that. So we'll get a Plains. Black, white, red. So low on life right now. All right, we don't need another Prairie Stream. So we're going to Roast Tassiger. And next turn, we're probably just going to have to gain some life here. So he can put us down to eight. Or sorry, uh, put us down to four by attacking for eight. If he wants to attack with the land. Or he can kill Jace. Um, but next turn, we can like play Dragon Master. I might want to chump the Shambling Vents, actually. But we can play Dragon Master, Ochai's command to like gain four life, get back a Dragon Master. <clears throat> he just like follows up with Rhino or another Wingmate Rock though, we're basically dead, so this is actually uh not best case scenario, but better case scenario. See how he attacks. Might just let Jace die. Maybe not though. We have to figure out what we want to do if uh based on how he attacks. So. Alright, so he's gaining some life. If we chump, uh, we can go Dragon Master, gain four, get back Dragon Master. I think that's... and tick up Jace. So, I think that's actually better. Oh, or we can Crackling Doom Dragon Master, tick up? How do we lose? <clears throat> I guess we have the option to Crackling Doom or Ojitai's Command. So either way, we want to cast Dragon Master. And I guess we'll just kind of see what he does. And we'll still play this land tapped over potentially dealing ourselves a damage, which may kill us. 
So if he just activates the Shambling Events and attacks, we'll just gain four, get back Dragon Master, untap, make two dragons. And if he just attacks us for four down to two and plays Rhino, we go counter it, get back our guy, I think. Even if we only get to make one guy, I think that's fine. Now, if he Abzan charms, but counters. All right, so we'll go to two. That's okay. Going to two is okay. Going to zero is not okay. Yeah, so if he goes, like, two counters on the bird, uh, we can respond with Crackling Doom on the OG wingmate. Um... Or we can just gain four, bring back Dragon Master. He can't kill both. We get to double Crackling Doom him next turn, but we'd go to a pretty... We'd be at four? I think that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, so... Well, we would need to crack the Blood Saint Mire uh, and go to three, so we'd be dead to Rhino. So, really just depends on what he does here. All right, yeah, we'll just take it. So now we get to go to six. All right, I'm gonna gain four life and get my guy back, so. We got plenty of action. Hopefully we get two dragons, we're at six. We can go to 10. Despise, wow, what does that do? <clears throat> All right, I think I'm just going to double Crackling Doom. I think it's pretty hard to lose if we double Crackling Doom. Because then he can't even... Okay, so we're going to go to five. How do we lose? Could have just gained four, gotten back Jace, I guess. But then we'd be dead to like end of turn, double abs and charm your dragons. Uh, untap attack Rhino. That that's how we would have lost just then. Now at least uh, if he goes double abs and charm your dragons. Okay, so he's just gonna draw some cards. Yeah, double abs and charm. Uh, we would have gone to 10, 7. I actually wasn't lethal if we just Ojasai's commanded. So Ojasai's command might have actually been a better play. Uh, so now we're probably going to go Despise Dig. Uh, so we have 7 total lands, right? So, okay. Well, Duress kills that plan. Despise will likely hit something good, though. Might just go Rhino Rhino and then we lose. Uh, but he would, ha he, would, he would have to have three Rhinos, because he can't, like, Dim Protector, Unmorph, and then get another one back. All right, I am not afraid of a Banana Fenza. Now, he's probably going to Dramogus Command fight one, so... Not great for us. Not terrible, though. Wingmate, hang it back. We're going to take the Wingmate. I think I'm just going to ten him. Chump and then 15 him. So he has abs and charm, so he can kill this and attack. If he draws a uh, Dramoka's command, we lose, but he could have gained some life there. No, that was probably bad. Now we're, yeah, we lose to Dramoka's command now because he already had the abs and charm. We could have held back one dragon. Yeah, that was a mistake. We should have attacked for 5, put him to 10. Oh no, then he could go to 12 with the Shambling Vent attack and not be dead. That's a thing. <laughs> but he needed, let's see, he had a what, wooded foothills in hand or something? I don't know. I don't know. 
This way, he has to draw a removal spell for Dragon Master Outcast to not be dead. I think that is better than whatever it is that I was thinking about changing to. This is a sweet game. It's pretty rare that you beat a Resolved Wingmay Rock with this deck. <clears throat> Spies was clutch there, being able to take that Wingmay Rock. Could have been like another counterspell, I guess. So, Hang her back. Attack with Anafenza. Yeah, we're going to block with the Dragon Master Outcast. Thank you. And they're all gone, but we got these dragons, and all of them are lethal. So that's cool. Winds of Quasisma. Yeah! Alright, well that was the first three rounds. Uh, we'll be back. We'll play one more match here. Play two-man or something. And we'll be right back. <laughs> 